This is Pooja from Penguin Coding School and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll cover the code for how to create a simple house as shown in the previous video. So here's an example of what you could have come up with. So if you haven't already, please get out your version of a simple house or if you need help, if you needed help getting started, just please um, create a new REPL and have it set up as I do over here and create a pen as well. So first, it's important to understand how each part of the house looks like or what shapes we will draw. So the first thing we'll draw is the body of the house, which is um, a rectangular shape. Then we'll draw the door, which is another rectangle. Then the roof, which is a triangle. The window, which is circular. And then the chimney. Okay, so let's first start with the body of the house, which would be a rectangular shape. So first I'm gonna tell my computer to put my pen down, t.pen down. Then I'm gonna be using the go to function to move my pen to the location I want it to. So from the center, I want to move my pen 100 units to the left to the coordinate negative 100, zero. So t.go to negative 100, zero. So from the um, so then I want my pen to draw upwards. So similarly, if I want to move up a hundred, I'm going to be changing the y coordinate by increasing it by a hundred. So negative a hundred, one hundred. And if you want a recap of the coordinate system, take a look at our angles and coordinates video. Okay, so now with the logic we went through, I'm gonna finish making the body of the house using the go to function and changing the coordinates. So t dot go to 100, 100, then t dot go to 100, zero. So currently I'm at the last corner of the house and I want my pen to draw back to where we started which is the center. So you can use the go to function again and write zero, zero. Okay, so if you click the run button right now, we should have the body of the house, which we do, awesome. I'm just gonna make a comment telling us that this is the body of the house. So now we will go on to the door. So throughout this exercise, you're gonna notice how important and common the go-to function is. So either pause and try the door on your own or follow along with me. So we're back at the center. So I'm gonna write t dot go to negative 10, oops, negative 10, zero. Then I'm gonna go up, go to negative 10, 40. Then I'm going to go to the right, go to 10, 40, then finally t dot go to 10, 0. So let's run it again to see our progress. We got the body and the door. Awesome. So now the important thing is that we have to add the function pen up over here because the next thing we want to draw is our roof and we don't want the pen to draw a line connecting the door to the roof. So let's write t dot pen up. Just gonna write roof. So t dot pen up. Okay, so now we can start drawing. So for the roof, we want to start at the upper left corner of the house, which is at the point negative, or it's at negative 100, 100. So let's write t dot go to negative 100, 100. Okay, then I'm going to use the pen down function so that I can begin drawing again. t dot pen down. So a lot of these coordinates are guess and checks. So my numbers may be different than yours or than what you have, and that's totally fine. So next I'm gonna use the go to function to draw, uh, 
draw the line to zero, negative 50. Then to 100, 100. And finally, back where we started, which is negative 100, 100. So let's see what we got. Got the body, the door, and we got the roof. Awesome. So before we move on to the window, remember to pick up your pen again. So t.pen up. Then I'm gonna go to our starting place, which is 050. So t.go to 050. Then we'll put our pen back down so that we can begin drawing again. So let's make our window circular. As we've learned before from previous videos, we can use the circle function for that. And I'm gonna make the radius 15. So t dot circle 15. Awesome. So now we have to make the lines on the circle so that it looks like a window. So we'll use the go to function for these. So let's write t dot go to 080. Then I'm going to pick up my pen. Then I'm going to move my pen to negative 15. 65. I'm going to put my pen back down so I can draw the second line, which will be at 1565. Okay, let's see the window. Circular window with the lines. Oh, I think I, I think I put pen down, um, pen up instead of pen down. Whoops, now we should get the circle. Okay. So now we're done with the, wid the window and onto the chimney. So the coordinates here get really tricky. So either follow along and use the numbers I found that work best or choose your own numbers. So um, let me write chimney. So let's, as we've learned, let's start with by pick, let's start by picking up our pen. And we'll go to our starting location, which would be at 100, 100. It's the right most point of the body of our house. So we're gonna put our pen back down. And we'll begin making our chimney. So using the go to function, we're gonna write t.go to 100, 130. Then t.go to 80, 130. t.go to 80, 112. And Last but not least, t e dot go to 100, 100. So let's see our house, our body, our door, our roof, our window, and our chimney. So this is our house, our final, our final house. But I think we can add a bit of color to it. So we're gonna use the fill color function begin fill function and the end fill function for these for these next few steps. So let's go back to the top and go to our body of the house. So let's choose our first color. We're gonna write t dot fill color and you can choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna choose green. And then we're gonna tell the computer where to begin filling the shape. So we can do it right after the fill color. So t dot begin fill. And now we have to tell them where to end it. So that can be after our last go to function. t dot end fill parentheses. So this should give us a green 
body, which it does. So next is the door. So this will be similar. We're gonna write t.fill color. And let's say I wanna make the door brown. So I'll write brown here. You guys can choose whatever color you want. So we'll write brown here, then I'm gonna tell my computer where to start filling. And then after I'm done making the door, I'm gonna tell it to stop and fill. Okay, next is the roof. So this one is different because we have, we have picked up our pen and we don't want it to fill color when it's going to the new location. So I'm gonna write begin fill right before we put it, our pen down. So t.fill color. And let's say I wanna make the roof pink. Then I'm gonna tell my computer where Then I'm gonna tell my computer where I want to begin filling and where I want it to stop filling. Same thing for the window. Make sure we begin the fill after we pick up our pen. So I wanna make my window yellow, let's say. So begin fill and end fill, or we will have to end fill right after we make the circle. So t dot end fill. For the chimney, it's the same thing. Right before we put our pen back down, we write t dot T dot fill color. Let's say I want to make the chimney red. Begin fill. And end fill at the very end. And let's see our final product. Make the body, the door, roof. And that's our house. So now you guys know how to make a simple house. That's amazing. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you have more ideas of what we should draw next, let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.